What is it about baked goods that makes you want to help your competition? What is that? I've never wanted to help you this More like, time. what is it about me that makes you want to help me? Right? Maybe. Is it my my riz? Yeah. <laughs> Did that seem natural that I said that? You know what, now I don't want to help you anymore. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Brooke. And I'm Justin. As recipe developers, we spend an extreme amount of time in the grocery store looking for the best deals, for the freshest product, and also trying to stay in budget. In Grocery Showdown, we're going to put that experience to the test. And we're going to start by spinning my big janky wheel that I made. Don't do it too hard because it will fall apart. <laughs> then we're going to go shopping at our respective stores for the exact same meal. We're going to come back here, cook using our inspiration and our individual skills. We're going to see whose dish reigns supreme. And there's two ways to win. One, we can win on having the cheapest budget. Two, we can win on having the best flavor. Today's episode is dessert. No. It's a really <laughs> general vague topic and we gotta be real. We're gonna be honest, this is kitchen conventional time. <laughs> we are probably the two most uh, dessert challenged, I'll say. <laughs> yeah, the opposite of bakers. Yes, yes. Bonkers. It, oh, wow. <laughs> nope, <laughs> terrible. There are some spectacular pastry minds on this team and we eat all their stuff and we're just like, oh. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's what, what supposed we're to supposed to do. So right. on top of that, then one of us is gonna be in a dollar store trying to make an incredible, incredible dessert. So and I really hope it's not me. It doesn't bode well for this episode. But in terms <laughs> of the challenge, we have a couple rules. First one, we only have $25 to shop for a dessert that's gonna serve at least four people, if not more. Rule number two, we can use whatever spices, oils, and equipment that we can find in our very well-stocked kitchen. Additionally, when in doubt, we wanna use the store brand to show off what it has to offer. And we have to do all of this in just an hour and a half. A deceptively short amount of time. Deceptively Think about short. how on like Great British Bake Off, they do like four hours, five hours for like their showstopper challenges. And we're trying to like show up or show out, you know what I mean? And they're talented. I think that's the <laughs> <difference>. <laughs> That's a huge distinction. Despite the fact that we are paid, those amateur bakers are definitely better than us. So much better. <laughs> it's fine. All right, I'm gonna get our wheel. <laughs> what is this song? <laughs> Yeah! It gets jankier every time. All right, Brooke, what are our stores today? We have <laughs> Dollar General and Acme, which is also in the Safeway slash Albertsons family of grocery stores. Yeah, it's one of those like big mega conglomerates that owns a bunch of stuff and Acme is the only one in the area. Right. But it can be like analogous to probably a ton of stores that you have in your neck of the woods. Do you like dollar stores? You know, I'm not going to even flex. I spent a lot of time at Dollar General in college when I only had about like $7 to go around. <laughs> and they have like some really great cheese that doesn't melt. Um, Perfect. <laughs> which I shouldn't need for dessert, so that's fine. I don't know, but maybe you want to create something I, cheesy. I've never gone to Dollar General with the desire to make a full dessert, so I don't mm. think I have like a catalog of what they have for that. Honestly, my biggest memories of Dollar General is the candy aisle. Yeah. So I think that mm. like whatever this is gonna be is gonna be like cloying. Luckily, our judge loves very sweet things. So this should be okay. So mm. shall we spin the wheel? Yeah, it's my turn? Yeah. I'm low key excited. <laughs> Why? I don't know, I just got a jolt of inspiration. I'm feeling good. There are so many GD Dollar Generals in this country. It is like one of the most shopped at stores, period. So I think this is actually like a good, like a good experience for everyone to learn how to like do a little bit of shopping. Teach me some. Yeah, Please. we're going, I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm gonna really have to pull something out of my butt. Meanwhile, I'll be at Acme, which is kind of just like a regular old grocery store. You're gonna store. be boring. I'm boring as heck. <laughs> You're gonna make some like nice brownies that that's taste fine. good. Look, look, that's okay. I'm so okay <laughs> with that. All right, let's friggin' shop. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Oh boy. Howdy. 
I am. I love this bag. Isn't it cute? Also, this does drive home if you flip it around that it is truly the same custom company. It's Acme Safeway. So if you're like, this isn't a store I've heard of, you've heard of it. I was overwhelmed because Acme slash Safeway is is not like other grocery stores we've been to. Like, there's no like limitations. There's no right. like it's just real. It was just store. so many things to choose from. Mm. And I went in there and completely forgot my plan twice. And I like started from scratch twice. I'll also be real. This was the first time that I had a Brook style total change of heart based off of one ingredient. <laughs> Noticing my plan mm -hmm. is an entire meme. This is not like, I, I at this point don't think I'll win because I just love the idea that I had so bad that I switched around my whole budget to doing it. So I'm I'm very excited because I think this is funny. I hope that other people think it's funny too. So you're just getting silly with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think I might make a real dessert. Okay, good. Great. All right. So do you want to go first then? Uh, Yeah, I'll go first. First things first. I got an orange. I think I was mostly really excited. There was just an abundance of fresh fruit and veg. So I wanted to make sure I included one. This navel orange was a dollar and 50 cents. Some unsweetened cocoa powder. This cocoa powder was $3.49. A bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And these chocolate chips were $3.49. I couldn't remember if we were including sugar in our pantry ingredients, but I didn't want to be, we're not, great. Didn't want to be without sugar because it is dessert, so I got a box of store brand sugar. This sugar was $2.79. Can't have dessert without some sort of dairy, in my opinion. So I got a pint of heavy cream and this was $3.99. Lucerne is a brand of dairy you see in New Jersey, and I low-key always think that it feels like it's like a drug company selling me like weird, like butter. Oh, like it's, it's not, like the way that this look, like it's, it's just a like, little medicinal. doesn't feel like it should be like McCormick's Family Farm. When you said drug company, that's not the first thought. No, right? yeah, I meant like a pharmaceutical company. <laughs> pharmaceutical company, <laughs> They didn't have like a actual like Acme butter, but this is like the closest thing to store brand that I mm -hmm. have seen. This butter was on sale actually for $2.99. But don't we, haven't we been using butter in all of our, all of our shoots so far? But, uh... <laughs> I guess that's all the butter you're using then, huh? Yeah, um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't, now that you say that, it's something I knew, but I don't really remember what my train of thought was when I got this whole pound of butter. Were you just This is what I'm saying, I changed my mind so many times. This could have been left over from a previous idea. I I think I'm gonna need all of this. You could make some deep fried butter. I can make To make it the star of the On dish. the side. Mm -hmm. I got a dozen eggs. These eggs were $3.99. So this is another thing that I feel like maybe this qualifies as a pantry ingredient, but I don't know and I didn't want to chance it and I didn't want to like play myself. So I got some almond extract. I actually prefer it to vanilla extract. I know vanilla does certain things, but I just, I don't know. I like a little razzle dazzle from almond extract. This almond extract was $2.99. But now I'm curious since it's chocolate and, and orange and all this stuff, what you would be doing with almond extract? Oh, what That's won't I do with exciting. almond extract? Hmm. Hmm. So I'm gonna make a real dessert. And I'm yeah, really... it looks like it. There was not anything, anything to really clown you about. No, <laughs> I honestly like, like I. A good dessert. I wish I could expand about some of this stuff more, but I feel like these are all really simple ingredients. Yeah. And I'm excited to like make a very straightforward, very good dessert. This is like the least silly I've been, I think, this entire time. Mm -hmm. It's well, weird. But... As we've talked about on the show now many times, you and I are not great bakers, so I feel like you wanna like now I... at least show that you can do a dessert very good. I'm gonna try. Meanwhile, I'm definitely gonna try. I was like, no. <laughs> I'm gonna do something very, very silly. I do have one question before you get into your haul. Uh -huh. Would you consider coffee to be a spice? Yeah. Sure. Great. Mm -hmm. Lit. I'm just feeling nice. I feel like I didn't say anything that was under like two or three dollars. You might have been able to tally it up in your head. I don't know, but I'm curious to see what you think I spent. I think you probably spent like 17 22. Oh boy. I did not spend 17 22. I actually went 23 cents over and I spent 25 23. So. But. I know. Now that you've cheated twice in a row. It's fine. I'm gonna definitely cheat next I didn't episode. cheat, I just went over budget. I'm gonna cheat next episode. I didn't cheat, I just went over budget. I've never shopped for groceries at a dollar store and honestly, it was like pretty nice and things were, some things were like kind of actually similar to what you purchased, mm -hmm. but a lot was very, very cheap. We're gonna start with my dozen eggs. This was two twenty-five. dollars Okay. Whoa, what is happening? Oh my gosh. 
You I've never what? seen an egg like this before. We saw an egg just like that in the grocery store, and I put the whole carton back because it just seemed like a <laughs> it seemed like bad luck. I've never in what my life. To him? Look, I feel like this is like the Benjamin Button of eggs. Oh, he's aging. Backwards. He was born really old. He was born an old chicken. <laughs> he's my mascot today. <laughs> His name is Jericho, and I love him. <laughs> mm. Wait, okay, you stay over here. All righty. One of these big bags of powdered sugar, two dollars. When you were reading out your ingredients, I was shocked. This was the exact, or maybe it's not the exact same bag of cocoa powder. Oh, mine is just store brand. Oh, store brand. Yeah. And then this Hershey's one was three fifty. Same price. So same price, dollar store to grocery store, which is interesting. Then I have chocolate sandwich cream cookies for three dollars, dollar store brand. I'm very interested to see how these taste. I wanted to sort of do the budget thing because we're at the Dollar General. So I, instead of getting flour and all that stuff, I just did box cakes mix. I like box cakes mix. I'm gonna try to make it a little better somehow, maybe. Um, this is $1.75. And you call me a cheater. Yeah, All right. this is not cheating. Did I go over budget? No. That's also not cheating. I digress. I love, I love yellow cake. I like that we are describing flavor with colors. <laughs> like um, and and uh, the thing is, it is so distinctly yellow tasting. It is. <laughs> it does not taste of anything but yellow. I have one more semi-serious ingredient, which mm -hmm. are these sour crawlers, trolley sour crawlers, which is- It's semi-serious? Semi-serious. Okay. Which these were a dollar. All of the candy, for the most part, that like the bags candy and like the candy section was a dollar. So that's where- I will say, I, was, I do like that about dollar stores in general, is that they usually have a really solid, cheap candy section. It's, that was a lot of the reason why I was happy I got it, because I knew I could do something very candy heavy. My biggest memory of like going to a dollar store growing up was like there was one right by my movie theater. Mm. So I would go there and just like pack my pockets with dollar candy and then go into the movies. Pack my pockets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I paid for it, I paid for it. But I, just, <laughs> I didn't want the movie theater to see that I was like, shuffling around with Twizzlers <laughs> and mini Snickers bars. There was cinnamon toast crunch, a uh, box cake yeah. that I was thinking about using. And I was gonna make like a cake that I was gonna hollow out and make into like a cereal bowl with cinnamon toast crunch in it. Which honestly, I feel like I should have maybe done. But then I saw this and I truly couldn't resist. Right now it's, it's early May, all of the Easter candy ah. is incredibly on sale. Uh -huh. um, the Easter candy was on sale for 90 cents, or 90% off, excuse me. 90% wow. off all candy, and they weren't even really doing the math. <laughs> totally right for some of these, but um, I just like rated this whole like little thing. I was literally in the line to check out and I saw it. I have one, two, three, four, five different Chaka Bunnies. So many. And then I also got um, my final thing was a little bag of uh, sparkly wild berry peeps. Oh. All of this all told was $1.43. Oh my God. When we were in line, there was a guy behind us who was like, you know, that's not real chocolate. And I was like, what? He's like, that's not real chocolate. And I said, okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir, it's for like, your service. I, I think it might be, I don't know. I walked out of the door, maybe it isn't. I mean, it's like, it's, I don't know. What does it's, that even mean? What else would it be? If Hershey's, I mean, is, is Hershey's is chocolate, then this is chocolate. It's not good chocolate, sure, but you know. And then I left one thing at my desk, I gotta go get back. I couldn't resist and I was good on budget. Um, I got like window stickers for Easter. These were 20 cents. Um, and I think they're just gonna be a part of my presentation. My whole concept behind my dessert, I'll tell you right now, cause you're not gonna be able to know, guess what it I'm is. I'm gonna have no idea. This may be borderline something, but I'm gonna do um, an Easter bunny graveyard cake with dirt and gummy worms. And I'm gonna make some headstones and our, our bunnies are going to be placed in there. Um, but like respectfully. <laughs> respectfully. <laughs> Your mom and your stepdad, mm -hmm. as you know. Yeah, as I know. <laughs> are preachers. Yeah. Would they be mad at me? <laughs> well, first of all, my stepdad loves chocolate, so I don't think he would be mad. As long as he got to eat some, I don't think my mom would be mad either. They both have pretty good senses of humor. Actually, I had a thought, which, I don't know, it could make this worse, whatever. Would it be too much if they were like technically zombie bunnies? Yeah, that's the whole point. There's They're gonna be, there's gonna be little paws sticking up. So they've been resurrected. And ears, yeah, they're like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> How much did you think I spent? Ah, uh, well you went to the dollar store and you seem really confident that you're gonna get a budget win. And I already know I have a budget L, so I'm gonna shoot low and say you spent 
$16.42. $15.22. I was very close. Mm. Wow, I should get a point for that. I, this is my second win in a row for a budget. It is. So I'm feeling really good. It is, but I'm getting all the more expensive stores. So I'm now feeling your pain of having to just make something that tastes better. <laughs> but also, I don't think I'm going to win taste. Oh, that's fine with me. My goal is to get Rob to like laugh <laughs> a little. I have one favor to ask though. In hmm. the order that you use these bunnies, can you save Lil Crispy for last? Because if you don't use it, I want to eat it. Lil Crispy. Yeah. I probably won't use all. Okay, great. Save me Lil Crispy. Are you ready to get a poppin'? Let's do it. Let's all right. go. We're going to get started in three, two, one, an hour and a half. Here we go. Oh, that's not a lot of time at all. Okay. Oh, we didn't preheat ovens. That was dumb. It's okay. Have you figured out what I'm making yet? Uh, I think so, because I didn't see no flour. No. So I think it's a flourless chocolate cake. It is a flourless chocolate cake, which I think I've made once before. <laughs> You're just making box cake straight up. Is it gonna be like a sheet cake kind of vibe? Yeah, and then I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a chocolate buttercream from scratch. Okay. I can oh, maybe even okay. maybe 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 I'll make like no, I'm not gonna do it. I was gonna be like I could be fancy and make like a Swiss buttercream, but I don't oh, or like no. an Italian buttercream, but no. I I don't even know if you could tell the difference. I personally can Plus we're in America. <laughs> I don't we'll make American buttercream here. I don't like American buttercream though. I'm not I mean like no, it. I mean it's not my favorite. <laughs> I'm mostly relying today on the fact that my dad worked at Safeway for like ten years. So I'm hoping that that like will just be in my bloodstream already and I'll just have the spirit of my dad having worked at Safeway for so long to guide me through this. Weirdly, I did just add water, but these eggs, I will say, were like watery. Ew, they, they really? Were like, I don't know how they have like higher water content. Maybe Jericho just like took all of the <laughs> egg proteins and that's why. That's why like you're I'm so gonna, I'm gonna eat them later and I'm gonna have superpowers. <laughs> Are you gonna boil them? No, I'm actually not gonna ever eat Jericho. He's just gonna rot my desk. <laughs> so first things first, I need to melt some chocolate and some butter together, and then I'm gonna add the eggs, some vanilla, some sugar, all that kind of stuff. I lied, not vanilla, I'm adding almond extract, I think. I also got vanilla from the pantry. I don't know, it'll come to me, it's fine. Ah. Is that half? No. It's more? Half a cup, do you want a cup, a measuring cup? No. Oh my God. Oh, a cool new purse! I literally made a purse out of the cookie Amazing! Cookie. Were you saying that this was too much or too little? I think it's too much. Okay, I'll just do a little less. You want a cup? Why no, a no, no. Cup? I'm figuring it out. Is an eyeball on it? Yep. I think fancy folks would do this over a double boiler, but I don't really have time to be bothered with that, so I'm just gonna put it in the microwave. I actually just totally disagree. I think that double boilers are so fussy, and as long as you pulse the microwave to melt chocolate, I think you're fine. Yeah. How do you make dirt? Um, I'm think I can't. I'm gonna crush these sandwich cookies um, to just make, and then maybe like add a little bit of the buttercream to part of it to make it like a little more soily. Okay. But I think I'm gonna maybe scrape the cream out of some of the cookies so it's not all white. But you do want some of that because that's kind of what soil looks like. I think I'm gonna crack some bunny parts and put it into the cake. That was the most like violent thing you've ever said. <laughs> I'm gonna crack some bunny parts real quick. <laughs> probably could do this with a knife, but this feels more on brand for what I'm doing. I'm gonna line the bottom of this pan with some parchment paper after I spray it because um, I just don't trust that it's not gonna stick. That's how you do that? That's how I do it. You don't do the folding method? Oh my God, no. That takes so much time. That, it actually takes so much less time than what this you're doing. This feels loosely accurate to me, which is really all I'm ever going for is loosely accurate. See, it's loosely accurate. I'll be real, today, I, I'm gonna have a lot of downtime. Oh yeah, me too. Me too, it's okay. I think we can like relax and go get a coffee while our stuff's in the oven, yeah. Or sabotage each other. Um, Look how chunky this is. Do you see this? I feel like this is not is about there? to dissolve at all. <laughs> it's fine. Ooh, maybe I should dissolve it with like a tablespoon of water. I feel like that that feels right. I could pretend that I'm being I'm being like strategic, but I'm just dumb. <laughs> See, look, now it's not know. chunky. It's like a, a weird thick coffee syrup. Ick. It's fine. Ooh, oh, it actually smells like coffee now. That's so weird. It just smelled like raisins before. So I put the chopped chocolate in here. Mm. I don't even think it'll really turn out nice, but I wanted it to be like in a graveyard how like it's just bones. 
<laughs> okay. That looks melty. It's melty, finally. I will say the first difference between these uh, Oreos and regular Oreos is that like it's not as easy to pull them apart. There's like a tackiness like to this cream that's very interesting. Vibes. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Do you want to try one? Mm. Yeah. It lacks the specialness yeah. of an Oreo. It kind of just tastes like I'm eating air. It doesn't taste chocolatey. That's what it is. That's why. Okay, my chocolate's melted, which means it's time to add some sugar, salt, espresso powder, and eggs, and vanilla. I never think that flourless chocolate cake is gonna come together. This is so loose. There's no flour in it. There's no leavener except for the eggs. I'm so scared. Okay, I think this batter is ready, but like I said, I just... Are you gonna taste it? Uh, of course. Should we go to pastry school? Maybe we should. No. No, okay. I would hate it. <laughs> Never mind, just kidding. I would hate it so much. Really, why? Um, I get sweaty and I feel like I feel like pastry chefs like need to be like necessarily cold. I will be at a constant disadvantage, and I'll have like my very fancy French pastry teacher being like, Justin, <laughs> Justin, you have to soak, it, soak your hands in the in the ice water, and then you can come work for me. And I'll be like, Okay, Gaston, whatever you say. You have made this whole scenario in your head. Is this what it's supposed to look like? Like batter-wise? You're not gonna tell me at all. I feel like no, it's low-key just like a big brownie. No, it's good. It's like a big brownie. Tastes good. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna use it as like modeling clay at some point, I think. That's... I mean like it's very you gonna make some like, Literally, like, this is Play-Doh You should adjacent. make headstones out of that. I don't know, I was thinking maybe. I was either gonna make like, yeah, maybe I will know. I was also thinking of making a skull. <laughs> All right, you're gonna put your cake in the oven? I'm gonna put mine in. I'm gonna put my cake in the oven. So I know flourless chocolate cake also isn't supposed to rise super, super tall. It's typically more like brownie height than it is like regular cake height. But I wanted to do like a legitimate dessert because I knew Justin was gonna go do some goofy stuff. Flour scares me sometimes, so I went with flourless chocolate cake. It's also something that I think can be very impressive and taste incredible, and it's low effort compared to a lot of cakes, depending on how you top it. Why did you add uh, espresso powder to your chocolate cake. Espresso powder and vanilla can both really enhance the flavor of chocolate. I also use semi-sweet chocolate instead of milk chocolate because I feel like milk chocolate's kind of gross. Um, well, it's not gross. It's just good for certain things and cake is not one of those things. Correct. So yeah, the vanilla and the espresso powder and the salt actually bring out some real chocolatey flavor, mm. which I know Rob's gonna be looking for. If I tell him flourless chocolate cake and it doesn't taste like chocolate, he's not gonna have a good time. Yeah, weirdly coffee makes chocolate taste more chocolatey. It does. I you can put like a little bit extra in there because I really like a mocha vibe mm. to a lot of my dessert, well just desserts in general. Um, so I wanted to have like a slight little mocha hint to it because I feel like that'll play good with the orange and the almond. I want to make some whipped cream and I think I want to make some chocolate ganache. Ooh, what's yeah. a ganache? It's literally, so when I found out what goes into ganache, I was ecstatic because I was like, I can make that all the time. Exactly. Just eat it with a spoon. Mm -hmm. It's literally just chocolate and heavy cream. That's yep. it. And, and it, it just, becomes very silky, delicious, beautiful. Very silky, delicious, beautiful. And it also, whatever like thickness of ganache you want, you'll just regulate how much cream you add to the chocolate chips to get the right thickness. So it can be super runny, or it can be like the really thick kind that goes in the middle of pastries and stuff. I finish this off, I'm gonna add a little bit of this almond extract. Oh no, that's oh, what I wanted, so much! Oh, oh, that was so much! That was a mountain! <laughs> <laughs> this powdered sugar smells really weird. It does? I wanna smell it. It smells like a, like a, like a pre-made, like it's flavor, it's not that. Also, I owe you an apology because those work just fine. It's, it smells like Smarties. Yeah. Like oh smart. no! <laughs> Did they just like pulverize like dollar store Smarties for their, this This buttercream's gonna taste insane. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> Let me make sure this isn't nasty. It's so almondy. Yummy. <laughs> All right, so I whisked together powdered sugar, cocoa. Now I'm gonna get softened butter in here. And whisk it up a little bit, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
I'm definitely a soft whipped gal when it comes to whipped cream. I don't like like a real stiff whipped cream. I feel like it should still like have a little movement to it. Similar to what I was saying with the butter and the chocolate earlier when I put it in the microwave, this ganache process is another thing that some people might want to do over a double boiler. I find it works just as well if I just heat the heavy cream up in a microwave in increments uh, without boiling it or anything. And then I just add the hot heavy cream to a little cup of chocolate chips and call it a day. Yeah, just use Chef Mike, baby. Just use Chef Mike. Chef Mike. <laughs> Chef Mike's never let me down before. <laughs> that might be too much cream, but it's fine. But it's also hot enough to melt the chocolate, which is what I was going for. And with like a little bit of faith and time, this is gonna turn into a glaze. At least I really hope it does. Yes, it's getting nice and glazy now. Love that for me. Add a pinch of salt. Everything is better with a pinch of salt. This got so smooth. Gorgeous. There's still like some chocolate chunks in here. It'll and honestly, melt. like, if you're really worried about it melting, you can honestly throw it back in the microwave for like five, 10 seconds and it'll melt and it'll be fine. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to not make a mess, adding my dry ingredients in increments, getting this buttercream made. That's a really light chocolate. To this ganache, I'm gonna add a little bit of orange zest. Fancy. I mean, I got the whole orange. I wanna use the whole thing, you know, instead of just the segments. I have a very distinct memory of being with my grandmother, eating, like, dipping clementine slices into chocolate pudding. Oh, that's so cute. And so now this always makes me think of that. That's such a cute snack. Isn't it? My grandma and I used to eat pork chops together. Just adding a little bit of vanilla to my uh, chocolate buttercream and then a little bit of salt. Oh shit, my cake's overbaked. And now I have to wait for oven mitts. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Okay. Boy, if you don't get your cake. She's so cute. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna make her cute. Now I have to add more cocoa powder because she said I had to. <laughs> I didn't say you had to. I just figured since we're helping each other, we might as well help each other. Fine. You know what I mean? Also, I mean, these didn't taste like chocolate. Should I just incorporate some of these boys? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that'll help. Okay, my last element is actually busting into this orange and I'm gonna cut some fun, cute, little fancy segments out so I can put them Are you gonna suprem your I'm orange? I'm obviously gonna suprem my Hot orange. Hot damn. I'm like trying to appeal to Rob's like culinary school director self. Absolutely. I hope this orange isn't terrible. Like I'm looking at it now and it looks she a little looks ashy. She looks a little pale. She yeah. looks a little ashy. Look how much pith is on it. Oh god. Looks like a pomelo. Supreming an orange is basically a fancy way to peel an orange. You cut the top and the bottom off, then you cut, oh, you cut the rind off, sort of like going around a, a globe. Like peeling it off like that, and then once you get all the rind off, you'll be able to see the the segments and like how they're sectioned. Thirty minutes left. Oh, total. Is that a fact? This has cooled down quite a bit. I'm gonna put mine in the freezer for a little while. In the freezer. She's mad. She's, She's hot. hot. Oh, the parchment's coming off. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is good. She's a little wrinkly on the side, but that's okay. I'm gonna make myself a little glaze. Not because I actually want to put glaze in my dessert, but because I want to make blood for my graveyard. You went, oh. Th there is zombie bunnies. You're going full creepy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And I think I'm just gonna like kind of pour it on top of the cake and then put the whipped cream on top of that. And it's like a little bit chunky because it has the orange zest in there, but I think that's fine. I'm gonna make them blood. You can make them blood. How are, so is it, you're just making like a regular old, yeah. like royal icing? Yeah. Put some milk and some, uh, did you use milk? No. Okay, I was about to say. Use water. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, that's hot. And I'm about to use a lot of food coloring.
you like see my brain working trying to figure this out? Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, I have a lot of arts and crafts to be doing in that amount of time. I think Ooh. I feel comfortable with the amount of arts and crafts I have. I'm not going to use all this chocolate. That is crazy. I'm feeling generous. I think I'm going to help you. What is it about baked goods that makes you want to help your competition? What is that? I've never wanted to help you. This More like, time. what is it about me that makes you want to help me? <laughs> right? Me. Is it my my riz? Yes. <laughs> Did that seem natural? That I said that. You know what, now I don't want to help you anymore. <laughs> it all went away. I changed my mind. Look how nefarious the little crispy looks. Oh. He's planning something. <laughs> oh my god, so creepy. You think Rob's gonna be able to tell who did what? <laughs> he even like frost the cake, bro. No. No. <laughs> I don't know if it would never hurt anybody. You know what, I'm gonna let some ooze over the side. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Some side ooze. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Some strategic side ooze. It's definitely still warm. That's it's okay. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oop. Oh, God, be careful. I feel like I should dry these orange slices off. Is that weird? No, do it. I feel like going to be all slippy slidey. <sighs> do we have flaky yeah, salt? We might, somewhere in the kitchen. Yes. Mmm. -hmm. That's not how that works, Chelsea. Five more minutes. Oh, wow. I definitely waited. <laughs> this is a theme. This is definitely warm. It'll just help the buttercream spread, right? The warm? Yeah. It doesn't have to look pretty because I'm putting the chocolate sandwich cream dust. I love how all of my orange slices look very different from each other. There is no uniformity here. I would just, if you wanted to make a headstone or two. I could make a headstone for you. That'd be sick. Yeah, no problem, bud. Now, also, I'm sure everyone's wondering. Yeah. Justin's had a blowtorch on the counter oh this whole God. time. Oh my God, I'm so glad what you brought it up. What is he gonna do that for? I'm so glad you brought it up. I'm not gonna take credit for this idea. Chelsea recommended that I uh, blow, that I brulee these peeps <laughs> like they were in a fire. Oh my <laughs> God, that's so dark. <laughs> So it's so dark. That's gotta happen right what before we serve it. What was going on when y'all were shopping at Dollar General? Oh my God, these are sticking to other things. These are sticking to other things. Four, four, less than four. Less than four. Oh my God, the cream is so sticky. What if he doesn't want chocolate today? <laughs> this is a really great question. I'm screwed. This is looking earthy, right? Dude, you owe me big time. I'm helping you. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you lose little crunchy. Yeah, I did lose. Oh. If I didn't use his butt. It's, okay, thank you. You saved me a little crunchy butt. <laughs> there we go. No, this is like Bake Off, where they like are way nicer than people usually are. Oh yeah, totally. Let me give him a little prop there. Okay. Ah! Just need a little spoon. Thank you. You've done all you've needed to do. Yay! Oh my God, Justin. Justin, oh my god. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You're so welcome. Wait, my cover work is so shaky because I can't stop laughing. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh. You're just like, oh, how can I make this look really nice? <laughs> Meanwhile. Uh, oh, yeah. One minute. One minute, okay. That's wonderful. Seven, six, I'm like five, so panicked. I think I'm done. I don't have anything. I don't know. Jericho, help me! Two, one, one, one. Jericho, help me is crazy. <laughs> His wow. little blood drenched face. Oh my god. <laughs> Carnage! So Carnage! Creepy. This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> You burnt his head. He's okay. His little bunny ears. It's kind. It's probably I ran out really of, it good. It probably right? does. <laughs>say I'm feeling confident. I do think that I'm feeling more like a trickster god chaos agent and whatever happens happens.
And what I'll say is that if I lose, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> <laughs> we kept him outside because we wanted to have the genuine reaction to this, but let's introduce our food director, our culinary king, Rob Satius. Boop, 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 boop. Right, yeah, boop, that's boop. me, that's me. Yeah. Okay, I like, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It's a lot of work here, like with that and everything. There is a lot of work. We All work right. really hard. Welcome! Okay. All right, hi everyone. Wowza, 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 wowza. Before, ambitious. Before I say anything, yes. um, do you want to guess who's, who's... Yeah, I already know. <laughs> what do you think? Just, yeah. <laughs> Justin's. What makes you say that, though? Again, it comes from within. It's just a lot going on. Her. So. Maximalism. Max, maximalism. Um, flourless chocolate cake. Yep. There's a little bit of almond in the whipped cream. A little bit of espresso in the cake, and I topped it with oranges, and the ganache on top has orange in it also. Very beautiful. So. Gorgeous. And I'll give you some. Wait, what's in the cream? Uh, just a little bit of almond. Extract. Ex almond extract. Yes. Why would you eat that by itself? Trust why would you me, do I know that? what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm here, right? I'll or maybe not. That. You're so cruel. Whoa. 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 What? Wait, does it. What, what's, in the what's in this? Like, again. Chocolates? No, there's more in there. <laughs> Eggs? No, there's more in there, but. Oh, it's espresso powder? No, there's like a citrus, like a. Oh, there's orange zest in the orange ganache. Zest. Is that yeah, what you yeah, said? Yeah, 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 I said that. <laughs> wow. You scared me. <laughs> no. So, to me, really unique. A little daring, even though it doesn't look daring. It looks kind of like, I'm sorry, but it's a daring thing that she did. I did. With it, the, seriously, with the, alm with the almond. I'm not 100% with the almond. That's extract. that's fair. That's in fair. The, in the cream, but nice presentation. Let's look at these orange segments. I was about to say, are you going to grade yeah, the Supremes? I, I, I did. <laughs> the Supremes. <laughs> so the Supremes. My little really, flat back really, Supremes. Yeah, really hard to do, but let's see. Make sure if you're presenting this, you don't want to see a white pith on the Supremes. Yeah. Is, the, is, are, is there any? Totally. Yeah, there is. I, <gasps> I know. I should just come honestly, out. I'm just going to leave. Honestly. I, I, no, yeah, you should go. Okay. I'm going to leave. Bye. Bye. See you right. Yeah. I'm just going to head out. Don't you come back. But ganache was really, really smooth, beautiful. No, like, lumps or, or too many air bubbles. Looks great. How's the cake? The yeah, cake right. The cake is beaut. I mean, it's a beaut. Look at the lusciousness. Yay! It's impressive stuff. What I have for you is my Easter Bunny graveyard. It is discount Easter candy dirt cake. Okay. Um... It is yellow cake with uh, Easter candy, dollar store Oreo, mm -hmm. gummy worms. It's not sweet or anything, is it? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll have to see. Turn it around. I'll take uh, you on a tour. We have some peeps that got caught really in a fire. Shit. Um, then some bloody okay. zombie Easter bunnies. Um, we have some Oreo cream tombstones. Why the hell not? Um, and uh, gummy worms coming out. Uh, to to prey on all the the bunnies. Yeah. Who's what is this person? He Thanks. that is a bunny that had all of its ears taken off. Obviously. So chopped off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, let's look at the cake. Nice and fluffy. Nice and fluffy. Okay. So cake passes the the Rob test. All right. Let's see what else is going on here. Now, how do we eat this? Um. Words, like, however how you want. It? They're all individual components. You could take a little worm out. You could take mm -hmm. a bunny out. Yep. If you had a cheap Easter bunny, you probably know what those taste like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a few my day. Um, and if I wanted to hit, you, you could know, like, or you, you could have it like, you could have the whole experience. Take a couple bit. things and put it okay. in one bite. Is this okay. real life right things. now? This is amazing. I can't believe I'm judging this. I'm incredibly impressed that this came out of your mind, honestly. I Don't be impressed. You know, yeah, you know, or <laughs> this, scared, I think impressed is the is. wrong word. Scared is all hell. But yeah. I'm terrified. Like, tastes good. This is like. This is a full This is like Because you have is, a very sweet tooth. That's the only reason why you think this tastes good. good. It tastes like, I, I don't know. I'll stop sabotage. I'll judge my own cake. Oh, <laughs> tastes, okay. He's going to judge. Okay. Listen, hey, Rob, you like sweets too much. This tastes like box cake with like way overly sweet buttercream. <laughs> And I was trying to be nice. And these, generous. these. But now you're. These taste terrible. Thank you, Mark. Justin, get out of here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes like total shit. And um, <laughs> this is scary ass whatever that I wouldn't serve to anyone. No, I'm just kidding, Justin. It's 
No, seriously, honestly, I love the playfulness. The playfulness is great. Play they're dead <laughs> bunnies. So nice. They're dead bunnies, like playful. We were saying off camera that this is the cake that like when there's like an older brother who's insisting on not being involved in his little sister's birthday and the mom's just like, Tyler, all I need for you, I, I have all my things going on, I have the clown, I have the party getting together, just make the cake. And he's like, fine, I'll do it. Yeah. And then he serves this and she's like, what did you do? And he's like, well, you said make a cake, so I made a cake. <laughs> a What's of, wrong? A lot, there may be a touch of anger here. Or a touch. I'm figuring of, it out. There is fake but, blood on bunnies. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's final the, verdict. The final verdict for me, you know, this hurts, it's painful, but uh, yeah, here. Boom. Yay! Oh, sorry. How was that painful? Boom. <laughs> Why is that painful? No, I think you made something you know really gorgeous. Yeah. I'm gonna, gorge. I'm gonna take my W. I'm not gonna ask any further questions because <laughs> if it had gone any other way, y'all would never see me again. I swear. Take the win. I'll take okay, the win. I'll take the win. <laughs> um, and also, right. uh, this is also for you. You can take these home. No. These are these are window no. cling stickers. <laughs> no. Give them to your oh college age children. Oh my god. <laughs> They'll enjoy yeah. them. Yeah. Um, they, they can put it on their dorms. Two. No, those two. They no. totally will. This is, thank you. You're Thanks, welcome. Rob. <laughs> we'll see you next time. All right. Thank, thank you, Rob. you so Bye. much. Bye. Bye. I'm really glad you like my cake. And I don't dislike, well, I mean, I like box cake. And I love your creativity. Yeah, man. I would have never come up with this in a thousand years. Listen, when I made this decision, I was going for the memes, not for the wins, if that makes oh, sense. Oh, you found it. But maybe next, I think maybe next episode, I'll maybe try for it to win. All righty. This is really not bad. Well, Brooke. You've won once again. It was just a short-lived trend of me winning. <laughs> <laughs> but Truly. I was still so proud of you that one time you did win. Yeah, yeah. I feel insane. <laughs> the <laughs> amount, I feel like sweet tart sugar coursing through my veins right now. Justin and I are gonna go get a much needed salad, but- I have a quadruple bypass. <laughs> That's what I need. Mean. We're gonna go get a salad and some medical attention. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys wanna see us make some more wacky stuff like this from your favorite grocery store or your least favorite grocery store, let us know in the comments where you want us to go. Also, please, like and subscribe, hit that alarm bell because we want you to see the demented stuff that I'm gonna show you. So please, and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>